Today, we will be looking at the top five best places in Alola. Number five, the Seafolk Village. Seafolk Village was really cool because it's full of like houseboats and you can like go to multiple places like to Executor Island and that's it. So, I mean, but it's a pretty cool place to explore. It's the only place where you can get, uh, what's it called? Um, Domais, Domais. But that brings us to number four. One of my favorite places in the game, the Hano Grand Resort Beach. Well, I, I think that's its name. It's just really cool because that's the only place where you can find wild sandy ghast. Number three. Ten Carat Hill. Ten Carat Hill is a really strange place because if you look at it, it looks like a mountain. But Ten Carat Hill is the only place you can find rock rough, and it's right behind Professor Kukui's lab. So it's kind of funny that it, you live right by it, yet you never find any rock rough until you get ride t until you get the Tauros ride pager. That brings us to number two. And number two is. Wela Volcano Park. This place is really cool. And it's the only place where you can find Slanded. But, of course, they had to make it harder by making it only females evolve. And females are very rare. But this place is full of cool, cool Pokemon like Cubone that evolves into Alolan Marowak only at nighttime. I just really like this place. But that brings us to number one. Mount Wanakila. Mount Wanakila is a really cool place, and it's home to the Alolan Pokemon League. I just thought Mount Wanakila was a cool place because it's full of ice and snow, and it's a really cool and it and it's home to a bunch of cool Pokemon like Drampa. Drampa is a really cool Pokemon that's only found. Well, I don't know if it's only found here, but I just know I found one here. So yeah, and that wraps it up for vi this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new, and keep on catching.